speakers. Today I am here to show you some permanent slides uh, of uh, reproduction, relative reproduction and uh, pathogens. The slides of transverse section of testis, transverse section of ovary, transverse section of blastula, antamoeba histolytica, plasmodium vivax, ringworm and the specimen of SKX. So first I am showing you the permanent slide of transverse section of testis. With this microscope I will show you the transverse section of testis. This slide is of transverse section of testis here and in this slide you can see these round structures all these round structures are seminiferous tubules all these are seminiferous tubules seminiferous tubule seminiferous tubule and in between seminiferous tubule all this is connective tissue and this connective tissue is having a, a leddic cells which secretes testosterone in seminiferous tubule the outer covering is of germinal epithelium or spermatogonia and these are the different stages of spermatogenesis and some elongated cells are there and these elongated cells are Sertoli cells which provide nutrition to developing sperms and mature sperms are collected in the center of seminiferous tubule. You can view further all these seminiferous tubules. I am showing you the permanent slide of a pathogen and that pathogen is Antamoeba histolytica. This cell is of Antamoeba histolytica. This one, this one, these cells are of Antamoeba histolytica. It belongs to uh, kingdom Protista and it causes disease dysentery in human being. In this Antamoeba histolytica, you can see the nucleus also. Here you show this central part is the nucleus. This is cell. And uh, here you can see the process of binary fission. One cell is splitting into two. Antamoeba histolytica causing a disease dysentery in human being. I am showing you the permanent slide of uh, Rego. It causes infection on scalp and uh, causes itching, etc. So this fungus is microsporum. You can see all this is the mycelium of microsporum. This is mycelium of microsporum. You can see the detailed reproductive structures. These round structures are conidia. Here you can see the formation of conidia. Conidia are coming out. Here you can see the chain of conidia. So all these conidia, they get separated and develop into new mycelium. So this is microsporum, commonly called ring worm. Now you can see, this is the specimen of uh, Ascaris, round worm. It causes a disease in human, Ascariasis. These Ascaris are uh, unisexual, means male and female are different. You can see that the posterior end of uh, this Ascaris is somewhat curved. It is somewhat curved. So when it is curved, it means it is male Ascaris. If it was straight, then it must be female. So in female, posterior end is straight, whereas in male, posterior end is it is curved. Here in another specimen also you can see that posterior end is curved. So it is also female Ascaris. Now I am showing you the permanent slide of blastula. Actually this blastula is the blastula of frog, not human blastula. And you can see here different cells are there, one cell, two cell, these are blastomeres and these cells are formed by cleavage.
these shares are formed by cleavage in Jaigon. Later on, it will become hollow and a cavity will develop inside. That cavity will be blastocyst. So this is the blastula of frog. Now I am showing you the permanent slide of blood film of a infected person suffering from malaria. You know that malaria is caused by Plasmodium vivax. So this is the blood film of a patient suffering from malaria. Here you can see different type of blood cells. These are RBCs. RBCs. All these round cells are RBC, and there you can see somewhat uh, abnormality swelling in RBC. And here you can see the infectious agent. Here you can see these infectious agents are Plasmodium vivax. These agents they cause infection in RBC. They just enter. The RBC and multiply themselves and causing malaria. So this is the blood film of a patient suffering from malaria, showing you the pathogen Plasmodium vivax. Now I am showing you the transfer section of ovary. You can see this in this side of uh, transfer section of ovary. All this is connective tissue, and in this connective tissue you can see. These graphene follicles. The graphene follicles. These are immature follicles. This is somewhat mature graphene follicle. And uh, here in the connective tissue, all this is connective tissue. Yes, you can see. This is blood supply, blood vessel in ovary. This is also blood supply. These are some other graphene follicles, and I am showing you a mature graphene follicle. And this mature graphene follicle is this one. One, one. This is this is mature graphene follicle, which is having the ovum this is complete follicle this is ovum after some time it will burst and ovum is released out thank you